I promise we're not trying to stir up sh Oh, get out of here. We always are. Does it seem like anybody cares about this whole Project Fred? A majority of the comments we've seen are people agreeing that the price tag is way too high. Price tag is way too high. They're asking for $300 or $295 for it. Well, hello, taxes and shipping. Then you have to be put into a lottery in order to purchase the item. Funko is not, it doesn't seem like they're doing a big push to share the Project Fred thing. They did that one time and then that was it. This time I'm seeing like posts. I see that they worked with like somebody through TikTok oh, and stuff cool. like that, but I don't see like a huge push for the Project Fred. Yeah. I don't know if they realize it's a fail now or not. They were very proud. They said over 15,000 people were like- Very proud. Doing it. Put on a big event. They were doing the whole thing. Did a big old song and dance. Mm -hmm. Mike Becker was there. I know. Bob's Big Boys was there. Well, yeah, they had it at Bob's Big Boy. A bunch of stars made it out and they were also there. Yeah. It was a big event. And you would think after having a large event like that, we would all be super stoked over what they announced. But almost right off the bat, people did not give a shit. And still don't. A lot of people are commenting, I would never spend that kind of money on this thing. So the question for this video, is it time for it to be Project dead. <gasps> that was good. Somebody commented that, so I stole it. That's messed up. You might get caught for plagiarism. Thank you, I am 2119. Was that their name? I don't know. Oh, I no. just made that up. We have all these hot toys behind us. You would almost think the person oh, who collects dear. them and buys them all might be sick in his head for buying so many and not having enough room for all of them. Well, spoiler alert, he is. However, at retail, they generally cost less than $300, and you can do so much with them. They come with different head sculpts, different hands, different, uh, like, accessories, all sorts of stuff. The way you're moving your hands around, I thought you were talking about boobies, but okay. They have all these different, like, accessories and head sculpts and just a lot of really good uh, things that make you feel like the money that you're spending is well spent. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. I, I really can't. Just go ahead. I really I'm, can't. I'm, go ahead and motorboat them. Go ahead. <laughs> I let my lips go wild. I, I just... <laughs> do you remember what you're saying? No. Neither do I. <laughs> Point is, Project Fred, it's an 11 inch like Dorbs looking Freddy with like a Coca-Cola logo slapped on it. Like yeah. it literally looks similar to like a Coke or Sprite can. Funko was obviously <laughs> trying to go toward the designer art toy. They wanted to make a single mold that they could kind of slap artwork and things on it and, and sell it for a really high price. Okay. Similar to like Dunnies and all that. We've talked about this already. You can't train an audience to purchase mystery minis at mystery mini prices, Funko Pops at Funko Pop prices, and then all of a sudden expect people to drop $300 on one item. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. Are you ready for it? You can go to the store at retail and purchase a full set plus more, unless it's like the end game set, remember how big That's that thing lot, was? Yeah. A full set of pops for the price of one Coca-Cola Project Fred, or Sprite, or Big Boy, depending on which one you choose. Whatever one tickles your taint the most. I really like having my taint tickled with feathers. Okay. So can they kill the project right away? I think they can, and here's why. Right now, the way that you can obtain this thing is by being put into a lottery, mm -hmm. and then months later, you end up getting the piece in your hand. Well, I'm starting to think that they're not actually putting in an order to manufacture them until they get the full 750 people to purchase it. Then that's when the order goes through well, and that's when they create it. Okay, so from what I understand, you can back out of it prior to it charging your card when they like pull the names of people that actually obtain it. You don't purchase it until you're selected. Right, but when you're selected, I think that they just automatically run your card yes, through and you can't cancel Correct. it. Correct. I mean, out of 15,000 people, don't you think they would meet that number though? There is like a tiny bit of demand for it. 
I don't know, like how much further I don't think can it's this demand. Go? I think it's people wondering what it is and just putting in for it. They're to buying see if they can in get because it. they're hoping that it's going to be hot. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see it's what happens not. with the Coca Cola and Sprite ones. If those actually do meet the demand, 750 people do end up buying it, which possibly could be happening. The interesting thing about this is that I had no idea they were doing the drop until like that day. I knew that they were doing the Coke and Sprite ones, but I remember seeing after the fact, like, yes. oh, they did the lottery. They started the lottery. Yeah. They haven't ended it yet, I don't think. See, I don't even know. That's the problem. We don't even know. Like, typically, as a Funko channel, we would be on top of this. We would be talking about it maybe throughout the week. Oh, my God, this is so cool. Look what they're doing. But none of this is exciting. Nobody gives a shit. And I'm just waiting for the day that Funko basically says, we're done. And not only that, it's turning people sort of away from Funko even more. Did you read through the comments? Yeah. People are commenting on original Funko's posts saying that this is a fail. We didn't ask for this. That no one wants this. All these oh, different comments. I don't know. People are saying that on, on the actual Funko posts. Then you have disc trackers and Funko finders. For the majority of people, majority of the fan base that loves Funko doesn't want this. So who are they marketing to? I don't I don't even know who they're marketing to because there aren't many people out in the world who's willing just to drop $300 on an 11 inch figure. If you go and spend $300, you are gonna buy something like a hot toy or you have money coming out of your butt and you're willing to buy an 11 inch figure that just sits on your desk that says Coca-Cola on it. If it even had more detail, I, I would be more interested, but there's no, there's no detail. I, I just don't understand what this is. No detail in the design. See, I, I like, the art design, I should say. I like the simplicity of the mold because I feel like they can do so much more with that. But I, I just, it, it's very bland. And it's things that like, I personally don't care to see on a Freddy Funko. Why don't we read some comments? Let's do Because I, I think that's the best way of approaching this because we just sit, sound like two big dickheads saying that what Funko has come up with is horrible. No, but we're I think not. We, we should let the we're comments. Not. I think, well, hold on. You don't have to tell them that. I I'm am. Saying, I'm the one saying that. No, but, we're, we're not. If you're thinking that, we're not. We're not mean. Well, Stop we, we saying kinda, it. We kind of can be mean. I mean. Yeah, if you like Machine Gun Kelly, then you're fucking stupid. But outside of that, like, who am I mean to? I don't, like, go around and, like, trip people or anything. Okay, so this is the original Project Fred D Sprite Coca-Cola post. So you have people here that are saying nice things. Wait, can I tell you that that video is really cool? The way they did that? It is a pretty cool video. It is a I completely cool video. agree. You, you start out okay. Yes, yes, yes. You, anyone know how to sign up for this? Which, by the way, shouldn't we already know how to sign up for this? It's becoming like the next NFT thing. Nope. No thanks on this one. Sorry, Funko, but this ain't it. They're trying their best to stay relevant, but it's not what the people want at all. Yeah, they aren't paying attention to their fans. 100%. I completely agree with that. Doo-doo butter. Oh, oh, oh. There it is! What? Go up! What? Project Dead! Thank you, there is Project Just Dead. Collect! Yeah, there you go. Project Dead. These will end up on eBay faster Hold than on. the last ones. I wasn't done. Hey, please don't come after us for plagiarism. We found you. Sounds like a great zombie show or movie name. Funko actually responded to it. Funko. That's wild. Come on. These are stupid. How about getting some artists involved? involved yes, go. yes, yep. yes. Yep. Uh, why they hate this is an incredible idea. I don't know about an incredible idea. I don't know whose nutsack we're sucking here. Funkos. They would have to pay me $300 to display an advertisement in my room. So here's another post. This is also through Funko. Is this technically a Funko soda? I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, so cute, entered, save your money. Personally, don't get the allure of these. Sorry, y'all dropped the ball on this one. You know what? At least you made art, Funko. At least you, yeah, claps for you, I guess. Clap emoji. This is madness. Where does Funko get off charging that kind of money for 10-inch Funko soda? They're not even cool. Here's a post where Funko worked with an influencer. Here's a comment already. Are they seriously $300? LOL. Nope. Pass $300. That's insane. Why are they $300, though? Somebody's asking for Mountain Dew. This line will be cut very quick. Stop it. 
I thought it was about the fun. Why are the new ones so big and expensive? Not worth $300 though. Seems like they're trying to be Super 7, but their Super Size figures are actually detailed. $300 ain't fun. $300 isn't that fun. All right, so there's more comments where people aren't giving a crap about this. I also want to show you, look how many likes are on this. 2,900 likes, right? Now, if you go and look at this one, look how many likes are on this. 56.1K. Well, that's because it's a team up with Marvel. Doesn't matter. The fact is, people want this stuff more, like, look at even this guy. They want this stuff more than they want this stupid soda thing. You're getting more likes on the wrestling stuff. I mean, this is something I've been paying attention to because people don't care about this whole soda thing. Or they don't care about the, yeah. the Funko, the Freddy, Project Fred thing. Nobody cares. Nobody wants it. It's poopy. And then of course, when you get to disc trackers, you'll see Easy Pass. Yeah, for $300, nah, Easy Pass. LOL, what? They're never going to be as cool as Dunnies. This is what you buy when you hate money. Turds. Skull emoji. I almost bought this thing, didn't realize it's freaking $300. So, there are some people out there who might be interested in this. I mean, you see a bunch of people that are like, oh, I put my chances in to get this thing. They sort of entered into the lottery. They want their chance at it, but I mean... That's like it, three people. Is it just all hype, though? I mean, it just seems like the hype of possibly getting one of 750 figures. But in the end, if this doesn't sell well, let's say, on eBay, and nobody really wants it, that's I think that's immediately when we see this thing just die. It just That's when it's going to start swirling the drain. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I... I still just don't understand what they're trying to do. Like, I, okay, I should rephrase that. I understand what they're trying to do. I don't understand who thought it was a good idea. Somebody at Funko thought it was a good idea. They, they sell $15 figures. You can't just automatically jump into selling something that's $300. Like, the 18-inch pop price tag makes sense. It's like 100 to 100. Don't they go up to like 130 these days or something? Something like that. That makes sense because it's 18 inches but an 11 inch thing for $300, I just don't know. There's no value in it to me. Unless there was some hype surrounding it where it's something very cool, like let's say they're dressed like some of the Avengers or like Disney characters or like those types of things that we all love and we want to collect and put in our collections, like a Marvel thing, right? Like Captain America, Freddy Funko. Yeah. I would love to add something like that to my collection, but even at $300, I don't even know if I want to. Do you want to add it that bad? Exactly. Well, that yeah, that's the that's the golden question. I like your point though. Do it on a smaller scale and make them like a hundred dollars or something. Plus, when you have a figure this big, it's hard to fit it in your collection. Like, who truly are they aiming for? Like, not normal Funko collectors, because no, they know that normal Funko collectors all these years, like the little Funko Pops, right? When they go larger, ten inch or eighteen inch, typically they have a hard time selling them. So they know that the smaller piece is what is more popular. I honestly think they need to dump this. I think that if they made a smaller figure and they want to put like different artwork and art styles and all sorts of stuff on it, they could come up with like one Freddy Funko mold. This isn't going to work. It's it, the, the price tag alone is what scares most people away. But even if it were smaller, I still don't know how popular it would be. Remember Hikari's? Mm -hmm. And they all had limited numbers on them. Those things died off too. Yeah, like and nobody they, cared about them. They were not crazy expensive either. All right, so let's answer the question. Should Project Fred be Project Dead? It's a shart. Oh no, it's a shart? One where for some reason you're naked and it just goes everywhere. Oh. You know, the, one of the biggest problems with this, like, thing... Or like just the Project falls Fred, out of, you, like, your pants. Uh, okay. The Project Fred thing, the issue with it Like, is it's really messy. You can't take it to, like, events and sell it at cons. I mean, unless they wanted to pre-make them. But would people actually buy them if they were at cons for $300? I mean, I just I don't, don't know. know. but, like... It's a weird thing. 750 of those somewhere? Like, those are big. You'd have to get, like, 25 U-Hauls, probably. Well, I'm probably exaggerating, but those are huge. But think about the mindset of the people coming up with this at Funko. Well, whoever it was, was, was thinking this. We're going to make a figure, and it's going to be large, oversized in comparison to what is 
is truly popular because we're talking about people who are not listening to the fan base. Like mm -hmm. you mentioned in past videos, they should just do limited Funko Pops. Yeah. Okay. So they're not doing that. They're doing Project Fred. Yeah. So this person or this room of people said, we're going to do an oversized piece. We're also going to make sure that it's $300. Mm -hmm. We're going to put bland artwork on it. And we're going to put it in a, in a nice designer toys like box. You then are a part of a lottery system and you might have the chance to buy it. And not only that, you have to wait months in order to get it in hand. I think it's really weird that a toy company this big is charging so much money for these. They've probably worked with the same manufacturers forever. So they've developed these relationships. They spend millions, probably billions of dollars with these manufacturers over a couple of years, right? They're still having to charge $300 for an 11 inch figure. Mind you, I don't know if you remember this, I'm sure you do. Abominable Toys, which is a much smaller scale company than Funko, did a Kickstarter for Mega Chomps, which are 12 inches, and they were $199 per backer. Wow. Yeah. So and $100 less. Yes. As far as I remember, I don't believe they even made 500 of them, but I don't think it was like a crazy amount. Basically, how can Abominable Toys do this, not charge $300? Funko being the big business that it is, can't make it cheaper. Yeah, it's bizarre. Like, they should at least be able to meet whatever Abominable Toys is doing. Yeah, especially if Abominable Toys made, like, right around 50 to 60% of 750 total. And, see, Funko has or already has plans to make 750 times three. Why can't they they make it a lower cost, because I Because I think I've already explained this in the past. I, I sort of figured this out. There must be some sort of quota they must meet when it comes financially that they want to give us a limited piece but also be able to make a big chunk of money and i think that's what this is i think they're saying hey you want a limited piece we'll give you the limited piece but it's going to cost you yeah i don't agree with that it's no just, i don't agree with them odd. doing it at all i'm just saying like that is what i think they're doing yeah. because there's no other reason to gouge your customer base other than for that reason. I mean, why would you? It's a 11 inch, 11 inch figure? 11 inches. And then they're also doing sort of a designer toy kind of box, like Mischief Toys, our company, we do like these really cool boxes. And a lot of people are pointing out, hey, they actually are doing pretty cool boxes for this project, Fred. That's sort of what they're aiming for. I, I, I don't know, it's, it's really weird. But I, I feel like this whole idea is not gonna be around for very long. I feel like it's going to die yeah. really fast. Yeah, I personally am not a fan. And, and it, realistically, like, it's the price tag that turns me off the most. The designs are not good. The big boy was fine. It's he fine. was cute. Yeah, it's fine. We yeah. don't need it. I feel like in order to do almost the designer thing, they should do creative things because people love creativity. When you're just slapping the same logo that's on a can of soda on your product, it's just weird. I know. It, like the person said in that comment, it's like, why am I buying something to put an advertisement in my room? Yeah, it's like a billboard. I mean, the thing's Exactly. Huge. It's humongous. Yeah, it's a Called humongous... Called 1-800-Coca-Cola. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Well. It's weird. All of it's weird. I think that it should be Project Dead. They should shut this whole thing down. Or they should reach out to artists like known artists that are really good like for vinyl figures and have them come up with designs for those figures yeah and then they can release all sorts of cool designs on this project fred it would make 300 dollars make more sense but will they do it probably not they'll probably do doritos nexters or twizzlers i, I always <laughs> doritos. Talk about, i always talk about how i would love for a twizzlers project fred i can't wait to see what it looks like because i'm sure they're going to do it we had a long list that we read here one night that mm -hmm. were like spoilers i, I want to see it but i probably won't buy it project dead so what do you think? I know a lot of people have given us only negative feedback. I don't think we've ever gotten a positive comment about Project Fred. I feel like we have. I think people said that we were being too harsh, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, if I'm even remembering correctly, we post a video a day, it's hard to keep up. It is, yeah, you're right. But if someone feels like we're being too harsh about this, I mean, I wouldn't want to be their friend because they're they probably get really butthurt over a lot of things because I feel like our 
analysis is very fair. And analysis has anal in it. Yep. And I like that. Yep. Let us know what you think about this and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we would like to shout out to Denver Bow, Adam Rubin, Brian Spears, Mark Wright, Veronica Knotts, Harley Malk, Marcus Gonzalez, Nathan Beadman, Devontae McFarland, and Wayne Garber. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be able to do half the things we do right here on the channel. And remember, our next Patreon call for levels two, three, and four will be on April the 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you're there. At 8 p.m. Eastern, we will start the live for patrons to have a fun cocktail hour for one hour before we come on at 9 p.m. where we're gonna do giveaways, show you some upcoming Mischief Toy stuff, and much, much more. Check out patreon.com slash castlecast. What are we showing off, Chris? We'll be showing off Mortem in toy form. It's an unfinished toy, but a mold of the toy, and I think you guys are really going to love it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. You don't want to miss our new content. We have a blast. Come and check out all of our upcoming future videos. And before we go, we want to let you know all about this weekend's Mystery Grill Box, which will drop on Sunday, the 7th of April at 3 p.m. Eastern. You're not going to want to miss out. They have a signed Hulk Hogan, a signed Undertaker, and all sorts of other wrestling grails. So go and check out mysterygrill.com and buy your box. That way you'll be ready. That way you'll be ready for WrestleMania. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.